Pino Tell's exhibition of brilliant old stuff. Ancient artifacts, ancient weaponry, and ancient dinosaurs. <laughs> what? Who? Ahem, ancient dinosaurs. Oh, brilliant old stuff. Like this, a uh, fridge from ancient Sweden. Actually, Mayor, that's obviously a sarcophagus from ancient Egypt. <laughs> if you'll indulge me. Oh. Oh, indulge Walter? <laughs> no way. <laughs> As any expert Egyptologist can authenticate, this belongs to fearsome pharaoh Prank and Karma. Rather reminiscent of me, really. Supremely intelligent, highly revered, and utterly fearless. Really, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> A priceless relic, Dennis. This is worth three days' detention at least. <laughs> Spare your scratch. Like a painting dad shed and fix that. Maybe, Dennis. But I fear you may have unleashed an evil menace even greater than yourself. A menace worse than me. <laughs> Good one, Walter. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Looking sharp, Sergeant. <laughs> Need milk. <laughs> Little bit of. That's it! Uh oh. Dennis! Dennis! It's for you. He switched my shampoo! He put cranberry jam in my cup! He meddled with my milk! He pranked my pepper! <laughs> They're all brilliant pranks. Ingenious. And I'd love to take credit, but it wasn't me. Yes, no, it's true. Dennis has been with us all morning, trying to prove pigs can fly. Then, who was it? It could only be the curse of prank and karma. The, the what? According to ancient prophecies, he who disturbs a pharaoh's rest shall invoke a terrible curse. Yes. A curse of bad acting? <laughs> bad luck shall afflict the culprit's entire village for all eternity! Sorry, Dennis. Got caught up in the moment. We're all doomed! Uh, someone call the police! Oh, wait, I am the police. Quick, someone call me! Says here, he who disturbs my sleep must cook a sacrificial feast for the great Dragon Karma! Sacrificial feast, eh, Walter? Delivered here at nightfall! Better do what he says, Dennis. Dennis, you can't do that. No, what a nonsense. What a load of potential pranking more like. <laughs> All right, Walter, you're on. If it's a feast you want, it's a feast you'll get. On the menaced up menu tonight, Beef Wellington. Oh, with Wellington boot, Hawaiian pizza. With Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> And Mississippi mud pie with real mud. <laughs> Hope Walter's hungry. Dinner is served. Diners on the move. Bang on time. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Menace. What? Walter, what about the curse? <laughs> There's no such thing. I was the mastermind behind the curse of prank and karma. Dennis doesn't humiliate me and get away with it. Hm. Uh, uh, this is disgusting. Nom, nom, nom. Genius. Where's a stripe jumper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pranking works up an appetite. Oh. Who's hungry? <laughs> Where's a bow 
Ty, I knew you'd make a disgusting feast, Dennis. Did you really think I'd be fooled? <laughs> <laughs> My tongue tastes like puddle. Right, menaces, game on. Time for us to make the best prank in history. Walter! 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 Huh? Oh. It is I, fearsome Pharaoh, Franken Cargo! By meddling with me, you have disturbed my 3,000 year rest and unleashed the curse of the many! What? My face! Oh, sorry. Um. The curse of the many! Frank and Karma died 4,000 years ago. <laughs> nice try, Dennis, but get your fat straight. Good night. <laughs> oh, you can't fool Walter. He's an expert orthodontist. Egyptologist, Pafis. Don't worry, we're not finished yet. Walter, beware the curse of the raiding frog. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Walter. Raining frogs, eh? <gasps> Looks like you've been cursed. Only by you, Dennis. <laughs> Beware the curse <laughs> of the locust plague. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looks like an ancient curse to me. Buys off, Dennis! <laughs> Beware the curse of the Tempest of to spook Walter. What about the curse of the, um... Robot pirate? Uh, no. Kill a potato? Um, not quite. What about the curse of the, uh... Dennis, have you seen my hairdryer? Uh, no, Mum! Aha! Mummy! The curse of the mummy! Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We need one big roll of toilet paper. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dennis! One ancient dinosaur. <laughs> and one know-it-all next-door neighbour. Really, Mayor? You're appointing me to collect the sarcophagus and take it back to the pyramids? Uh, yes, we need an expert Egyptologist. Well, it would be an honour. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who's there? Dennis? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Walter, old boy. <laughs> Just a, a dusty old relic. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> See? Nothing to fear. My slumber! <laughs> oh, Walter, that mummy is really scary. That's the colonel, Pyphys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant! <laughs> Best prank in history! <laughs>
frog. Plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Ooh, breadstick. Oh, breadstick. Oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Yeah! 9%? <laughs> you are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <laughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, that ball. A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake! No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <gasps> Half a ton of live lobsters? <laughs> My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket! <laughs> Stuff's full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Really, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper-lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill! Right now! Or else! <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... <laughs> Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasher, Nasher, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> 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 Okay, plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean? Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Miss. 
secret my extra hot peppers. Stand back, spoon lickers. I need all these for my pasta salad. Hello, Walter. Oh, oh, you nearly peeled him! Presentation is the key to... Making a tossed salad? You are both banned from food tech and I am sending letters to your parents. A letter to my parents? It's an outrage. I'll go to the headmaster, to the school board, to the prime minister. You'll go to detention if you don't stop making a fuss. <laughs> Mom, letter for you from school. Oh, put it with the others. <laughs> What's that, Walter? Did you win another prize? No, Father. This letter marks the darkest hour in my thus far illustrious school career. Walter has been banned from food tech due to his misbehaviour. Misbehaviour? Impossible! I'll go to Mr Detester, to the school board, to the Prime Minister! That's what I said, but I was threatened with uh, detention. Even though it was all Dennis's fault. Hmm. Then let's invite Dennis and his parents for dinner so we can talk about this. What? Bring a menace into our domestic paradise? And while they're here, we can make Dennis admit that he's guilty and that Walter is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> dinner at Walter's house? But it'll be boring and no fun. And did I mention boring? Just get ready while I deal with your father. Dinner at Walter's house, but it'll be boring. Whoopee cushion, pea shooter, itching powder, dribble glass, green soap. Maybe this will be fun after all. Nash, 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 nash! together and getting on. Which brings us to why we asked you here tonight. We wanted to clear the air after that spot of trouble in food tech. Oh, well, you know what boys are like. I know what Dennis is like, but Walter would never cause trouble. I mean, look at all his awards. <laughs> And this one's for his Grade 5 performance on the Norwegian nose flute. Dennis has certificates too. Well, letters from the police, anyway. Dribble glasses, go! <laughs> well, Walter never causes trouble. Well, that doesn't mean Dennis made the mess in food tech. <laughs> oh, honestly, Dennis? It's a good job I bought one of B's bottles. <laughs> Cool. You got any games? I don't have games. I only use the computer for homework. Time for some extra hard sums, I think. Time for some good old itching powder, I think. <laughs> 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 
Janice to admit it was his fault. I've drafted a confession for, I, I mean, a, a statement for him to sign. We're not signing anything. Aha! Uh -huh. I see where he gets it from. No discipline. That's why your boy's a menace. Well, your boy has no fun. That's why he's a telltale. Look at all the pranks Dennis was planning. See? <laughs> Dennis is clearly the troublemaker. Now, about that confession. No. I'll prove Dennis can behave. But do you have the guts to misbehave? Well, why would he want to do that? Dennis will behave during dinner. I will. There's an afternoon at Beano Town Fair in it for you. I will. But I dare you to pull a prank <gasps> and not get caught. Don't be absurd. I'm not doing that. I'll do it too. And loser takes the blame for what happened in food tech. But unless you're chicken... <laughs> Here we go. Okay, go on. All you have to do is put a pair of sunglasses on one of the Colonel's garden gnomes. I'll go first. I don't get it. What's the point? <sighs> if you have to ask, you'll never understand. Loose flagstone, three steps from the door. Quickest escape is over the hedge. Watch out for the garden hose. <laughs> Man. Oh, um, uh, good evening, the Colonel. I was just uh, admiring your roses. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it. He got caught. We win. No, that was only half the bet. Dennis still has to behave all the way through dinner. We're about to eat, Cyril. The boys should wash their hands. But I don't want to wash my hands. Remember, being all town fair. Fine, I'll wash my hands. Green soap. They're trying to frame me. Ah, look, look. Trick soap. Dennis is pulling a prank. You lose. No, no. Uh, that's not a prank. That's a, a special seaweed skincare soap. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Quite an improvement. <gasps> my pea shooter. My whoopee cushion. My itchy powder. Remember, no tricks, pranks, or menacing of any kind. <gasps> Must resist pranks. Enjoy the food. It's organic. Peas dinners. Well, this is nice. And maybe I was wrong. Dennis is behaving. Yes, you should all come here again next week. And the week after that. And after that. And after that. And after that. Yeah! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Dennis! And for my grand finale! Ha-ha! You lose! He used the pea shooter, the itching powder, and the whoopee cushion. That wasn't the whoopee cushion. It was organic. <laughs> all in all, not a bad evening. Although I reckon I'm still in big trouble about food tech. And I'm in big trouble at home. You can forget about an afternoon at being old town fair. Too right. We're taking you there for the whole day. What? Oh, I couldn't stand another minute of Walter and his family showing off. And if it wasn't for your menacing, we'd still be over there. Well, Mum, genius wears a strike jumper. <laughs> Ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two. <laughs> 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 
A potato? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The Spud Space Program's gonna have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasher, and he's a one off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Look, Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have 5,000 stars, we'll pull in... Uh, <laughs> two million cars! Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly! We've a menace car wash to set up! And 5,000. Sorry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalise the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. Time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Proceed, you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Ah, uh, technically we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're gonna get it back. A first-class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Who's up for Beano Town's fastest car wash? <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Huh? Uh, there. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you Sick then. 
Michael Wolf. Thanks, Sergeant. Next. <laughs> I'll be recommending your car wash to all of our friends. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scrimp has friends. Mm hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right, my avian adversary. This means war. Uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered wooden beaked warbler. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, oh no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. <laughs> Give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? The target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh-oh! <laughs> Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, oh, crash! No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, try to look like a car. <laughs> what is going on, Dennis? <laughs> Can't talk. Oh, but this should cover the Astro Spud bill. <laughs> ah, yeah. And the dry cleaning. <laughs> Walter, act like a vehicle. Don't be ridiculous. I am not going to act like a vehicle. This nonsense ends now. <laughs> For you, Paul. Potato in the hole! <laughs> Him! Him! Private Potato! For bravery under fire, being fired, and being on fire! Him! And Dennis! for your contribution to the preservation of an endangered species. You mean the wooden beak warbler? No, I mean Walter. Mm. Huh. Now, can somebody get my vehicle clean? No! no. no. I suppose 
you think this is funny? Oh, don't be mad, Walter. You little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the cress you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> Dear, well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> Bye-bye. Yes. Huh? Dennis, what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires. And they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast... Who's daddy's little darling, then? <laughs> so, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. Oh, How about I give you seeds for birth? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you'll need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favorably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... <coughs> Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> is past its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot house! Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. <sighs> ah, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyface and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Results! I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect cress looks like. Who's ever seen cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big cress looks like. When they're grown up, cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. 
thing. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis, the unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! Ah! There may still be a bit more dodging to do. Ah! I told you it's not a crest. You don't see crest this big and eating things. Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Crest this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown Crest carries on. Kids normally grow Crest for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> it must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown crest experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants! Pies! <laughs> <laughs> You've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pains. <laughs> what? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Dispose of the pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. OK, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! <laughs> well, it's a good job we also have national yes. power. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. <laughs> Come on, class, put some spring in your step. Someone say spring. Just pee. <laughs> <laughs>
You can handle this. Man down! Substitute! <laughs> <laughs> That's if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rulemaking homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. Oh. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Everyone, I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you gonna do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still gonna have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, Miss. Oh, I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a. Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okey dok, Miss Mum. No! <coughs> yeah, oh! Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang. This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to 
get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash. 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 Hmm? A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We look ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <laughs> Nash. He's my teacher's pet, of course. So, we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. <laughs> Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. Oh, <laughs> oh we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> it does still work. Fingers <laughs> on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Gunway! Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. Go! <laughs> I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 